Learn and have fun. That is how we do it in science. Today, another exciting and interesting lesson you will enjoy learning at home. Good day, grade 8 learners. I am Sir Larry. Larry the Lively and funny to make your day happy. And I will be your guide in learning week 1, module 4 on the effect of temperature to the speed of sound. Before our lesson proper, let me know if you are ready with your learning materials, modules, paper, pen. That's awesome! You are now prepared to begin this fun-filled lesson in grade 8 science. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to investigate the effect of temperature to the speed of sound. We will begin our lesson with a pretest. Remember, do not write anything on your module. All answers should be written in your answer sheet. So, let's start. Number 1. Which of the following does the speed of sound wave depend? A. Loudness B. Pitch C. Temperature D. Thickness If your answer is letter C, then you are correct. Number 2. Which of the following is true about the effect of air temperature on the speed of sound? A. The lower the temperature, the faster the speed. B. The higher the temperature, the faster the speed. Letter C. The higher the temperature, the slower the speed. Or letter D. The temperature does not affect the speed of sound. If your answer is letter B, then you are correct. Number 3. What is the speed of sound in dry air at 0 degrees Celsius? A. 31 meter per second. Letter B. 331 meter per second. Or letter C. 3000 meter per second. And letter D. 300,000 meter per second. If your answer is letter B, then you are correct. For number 4. How much is the increase in the speed of sound in the air for every 1 degree Celsius increase in the temperature? Letter A, 0 0.06 meter per second. Letter B, 0 0.6 meter per second. Letter C, 6 meter per second. Letter D, 60 meter per second. The correct answer is letter B. Number 5. Which of the following statement is true about the speed of sound? Letter A. Sound travels faster in dry air than in wet air. For letter B. Molecules move faster, so sound travels faster in warmer air. Letter C. Sound travels at a constant speed even if air temperature changes. Or letter D. When comparing two media with the same phase, the sound will travel faster in a denser material. If you answer letter B, then you are correct. Number 6. Which factor does not affect the speed of sound? Letter A. Density. Letter B. Distance. Letter C. Elasticity. Letter D. Temperature. The correct answer is letter B. For number 7. Which wave property is observed when a boy shouts and hears his own voice inside a church? Letter A. Echolocation. Letter B. Reflection. Letter C. Refraction. Letter D. Both reflection and refraction. The correct answer is letter B. Number 8. Which of the following describes refraction? Letter A, turning back of waves. Letter B, meeting of sound waves. Letter C, bending of waves around edges of barriers. Letter D, changing the speed and direction of waves. If you answer letter D, then you got the correct answer. For number 9, which room temperature of air does sound travel faster? A, 
20 degrees Celsius. Letter B, 23 degrees Celsius. Letter C, 25 degrees Celsius. Or letter D, 28 degrees Celsius. For this question, the correct answer is letter D. Number 10. Which of the following explains why echo is heard in an empty gym? Letter A. Sound travels in waves. Letter B. Sound is unpredictable. Letter C. Sound has nowhere to go. Or letter D. There are only hard surfaces, so sound only reflects. If your answer is letter D, you are exactly correct. For number 11, a sound wave travels through the air and hits a glass of water. Which of the following happens when the sound wave moves from the air into the glass? Letter A, it gets louder. Letter B, it gets quieter. Letter C, it travels faster. Or letter D, it travels slower. For this question, the correct answer is letter B. For number 12, speed of sound depends on the blank. Letter A, pressure of the medium. Letter B, temperature of the medium. Letter C, temperature of source producing sound. Letter D, temperature and humidity of the medium. If you answer letter B, you are correct. For number 13, the reverberation of sound is used in letter A, megaphone, letter B, stethoscope, letter C, trumpet, or letter D, all of these. The correct answer is letter D. For Numbers 14 and 15, here is the data of air temperature of the four cities at the same time. For Metro Manila, 29 degrees Celsius. Cebu City, 27 degrees Celsius. Davao City, 26 degrees Celsius. And Butuan City is 25 degrees Celsius. Question, which city does sound travel the fastest? A. Butuan City B. Cebu City C. Davao City or D. Metro Manila The correct answer is letter D. Metro Manila Question number 15 Which does sound travel the slowest? A. Butuan City B. Cebu City C. Davao City or letter D. Metro Manila. If your answer is letter A, then you are correct. Now, focus your attention with me as we will discuss further our topic. Sounds are caused by vibrations, referring to the back and forth movement of objects as you speak. Vibrations are produced by the vocal cords inside the throat. You can hear the vibrations when sound waves reach your ear. When an object vibrates, it creates energy. Sound energy travels in the form of sound waves. These waves are examples of longitudinal waves where the vibrations are parallel to the direction of the wave. They are also known as mechanical waves, since sound waves need a medium in order to propagate. This media can either be solids, liquids, or gases. Sound waves travel fastest in solids and slowest in gases. The speed of sound can be affected by the elasticity and density of medium. What is elasticity? Elasticity is the ability of a material to return to its original form after a certain amount of force has been applied to it. An example of an elastic material is steel. Steel has the ability to return to its original shape after it has been bent. Sound travels faster within more elastic objects. This is due to the atoms and molecules of the elastic materials having a relatively strong attraction towards each other and responding 
faster to each other's movement. As a result, sound energy is transferred more quickly. Generally, solids are the most elastic, followed by liquids and then gas. Thus, sound travels fastest in solids and slowest in gases. Density is an intrinsic property that is determined by the amount of mass per area of space or volume of the material. Denser objects have more mass per volume and they have more compact atoms and molecules. The neighboring atoms and molecules in denser objects are less responsive to each other's motions and interactions, making the sound wave travel slower. This factor applies when comparing media of the same phase. For example, sound travels faster in helium than it does in air, as helium is less dense than gas that make up air. You can observe that helium is less dense than air because balloons are filled with helium float, whereas those filled with air are not. This lesson deals with the temperature of the medium as another factor affecting the speed of sound. In the quest to explore more about sound, you will be acquainted with the properties of waves specifically reflection and refraction. Before we will thoroughly discuss about the properties of sound, let's have first the activity on a word puzzle about sound waves. At the end of this activity, you are expected to recall the words associated with sound waves. Complete the puzzle and write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. The puzzle will be flashed on the screen and the definition for across and down. You will be given five minutes to complete this activity. Remember, read and comprehend.
time is up and it's time to check your work. For the across pattern, number one, temperature. Number two, solid. Number three, vacuum. Number four, refraction. Number five, echo. For the downward pattern, number one, medium. Number two, density. Number three, elasticity. Number four, reflection. Did you get it right? Wow, congratulations. Like any wave, a sound wave does not just stop when it reaches the end of the medium or when it encounters an obstacle in its path. Rather, a sound wave will undergo certain behavior when it encounters the end of the medium or an obstacle. Just like any other wave, sound also exhibits reflection. Reflection, it is usually described as the turning back of the wave as it hits a barrier. The echo is an example of a reflected sound. Reverberation, on the other hand, refers to multiple reflection or echoes in a certain place. In theaters and movie houses, there are also reverberations and echoes, but these are not pleasing to the ear. So to lessen these, designers use sound absorbent curtains and cloth to covers, chairs, and carpets. Another application of sound reflection is echo sounding. This is used by scientists to map the seafloor and to determine the depth of the ocean or sea. This is just the same as how bats use sound to detect distances. The next one is refraction. The refraction of sound waves involves a change in the direction of waves as they pass from one medium to another. Sound waves travel slower in cooler air than in warmer air. A sound wave travels from air of higher temperature to lower temperature. During daytime, sound travels faster at the Earth's surface since the air molecules are hotter due to the energy absorbed from the Earth's ground. The air molecules at the higher altitude are cooler than those at the Earth's surface, causing sound waves to refract upward. On the other hand, during nighttime, the Earth's surface is cooler and the layer of air immediately above it is also cooler. As a result, sound travels faster at the higher altitude and is refracted or bent towards the ground. There you have it! Now to find out if you've learned something from our discussion, it's time for a short activity. What I have learned. For the direction, fill in the blanks to complete the statements. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Again, you will only have 5 minutes to complete the activity. So. Good luck.
mundo ng siyensya Tumuklas ng kaalaman Sa hayop at nalaman Kalawag at kalupaan Katubig at kalamitan Di ka may iwan Sa pag-aaral ng hanggang Mag-eksperimento ng mga bagay Para sa bayan Ay That is all for today. I hope you learned something from our discussion. Take note, on our next video, we will discuss the results of the activities that you will be performing after this lesson. Always remember, a better future is achievable only when you start to think smarter and study harder. This has been Sir Larry, the lively and full of energy to make your day happy. Goodbye!